Okay, hello everyone, welcome to a new video on the Hive Game of the Week. Today, I want to show you a nice game uh, where Black played the buffer opening, one of my favorites, and um, I think a good example of what Black wants to achieve playing this opening. It can be played by White as well, but I think it became popular, um, played by Black in the last years. Um, it seems not... Um, natural for black to play in such a way um, to pinning an extra piece as a, actually as a buffer piece how's it called just to have extra space but it can pay off uh, in some cases and um, I'll try to explain the main ideas behind it this was a game played in the round one of the qualifier board space of the world championship between Roxar and Samax so Let's start. White goes with the ladybug, and um, the move that characterizes the buffer opening is this one. So I'm playing the queen not in a standard flank, one of the two flanks, but in a sort of extended further flank, um, but um, pinning both, self pinning both uh, starting two pieces. So we have a, a pseudo starting bag, the mosquito in this case and the actual starting bag, um, the, um, the ladybug here. Um, I would say there are different kind of buffer openings depending on the initial two bags and there are different ideas correlated to them. I tend to call this the pocket buffer. Um, you will see why shortly. The main idea is to create a, buffer, uh, a pocket structure here for the mosquito. Um, it's very similar to what could obtain by a standard opening. If you just swap, look at here, if you just swap the pill bug and the queen, you would get a standard um, a standard opening, right? Standard Z. In this case, though, we have a Z black buffer opening. Um, um, why is this configuration interesting? It seems that the queen is self-pinning at least two more pieces here, right? The main idea behind the path for opening is you will get more spawn points for your pieces, okay? You want to use um, more spawn points around here and you'll be able to react to um, white um, in a more flexible way. So the this shape you have here is quite flexible. You can move the mosquito out and use this space as a, again, as a pocket. You can even move the pill bug around and create a, an extra pocket here. Um, if black moves the ant away, um, you can immediately refill it with another um, ant in the flank. So clearly you don't aim to a straight, to a, to a direct, a quick attack, a uh, quick counter attack, I would say, as a black. But um, if you have enough patience, then you will be rewarded. Um, I have the feeling that uh, already this variation is not the critical one for black. Probably white um, should um, prevent from black to playing this um, this pocket, for example, this. Um, of course, this is another complicated um, opening and we're not going to deal with this, but you can see here white has um, pinned the mosquito and prevent black from creating the pocket that you will see in this game. It's very, very useful. Um, anyway, let's go um, into the... A bit deeper into the game um, let's see why this pocket was particularly useful so okay the black ant is pinned clearly black is behind in the ant game but he has um, the pocket has advantage on its side um, the thing is that this mosquito here is not forced to go out and cannot be pinned um, clearly now any more um, piece that will be put down will be pinned by these two pieces. But um, there's an important move that Samax played. I think it is, it, again, the critical move of the variation. Um, and um, uh, this is um, 
I will say, I will call it an intermediate move, okay? There is a counter threat that could be played by um, by black, placing um, a minor piece. And this gives black enough time to um, organize his pieces and um, get back enough mobility. Can you see what move I'm talking about? The move is spider here to the left, to, uh, to the right of the build bag. The idea is that the spider is in a perfect position to pin either the ant or the mosquito. And if the ant pins the spider, then the mosquito uh, lose um, mosquito uh, lose ant uh, ant power, and black can place another ant down. Uh, and now we have two uh, mobile ants. Um, the spider is also in a perfect position to pin the mosquito on the on the queen. So a uh, power pin on the on the queen. Oh, I'll call it a compound attack, how, how's you want, however you want to call it. Um, White decided to go for the direct attack, but we'll see that actually this wasn't mm, very problematic for black. Um, and at the same time, the um, White will suffer, the, mm, will miss very much the mosquito here. <laughs> um, you will say, okay, now black doesn't have, uh, uh, only has one um, defender available, only one ant available, or I would say a mosquito moving as an ant. So white can force a beetle to go on top of the hive, right? It's got two beetles and black only has one mosquito to defend. Sure, but will this give white an advantage? This is actually unclear. This is what happened in the game. Second beetle. Yes, white has forced the beetle on top of the hive, but this pocket is what is all black need to defend. Whenever white covers the black queen, the black beetle will recover, and black has um, a black ant, uh, an extra black ant in play. Um, so his mobility is also pretty good. Um, white played the pill bug since black was threatening to choke the white queen um, and then would, would have been actually yeah, quite problematic for, black, for white. Um, white is also not in a hurry to cover the black queen because the this white beetle cannot recover, uh, cannot be recovered at the moment, cannot be stopped at the moment. But um, after this move, um, well still um, white doesn't have um, it's not in a hurry because whenever the black mosquito covered the, the, the white beetle, then the other white beetle um, below will recover the mosquito. Um, and then white still managed to get um, uh, the black queen covered. But after, um, after this move, so black release um, the pin on the beetle. So it just pins the beetle underneath such that now... Um, Covering the white beetle number two is a, is a real threat. So now is the moment for white to cover the black queen. It doesn't really have um, other choice. It could play a bit slowly and go back and pin the mosquito. Um, but it will also be admitting that the strategy has failed. So um, white decides to just go on um, with the initial plan. So as you can see, white has qualified for the win. But at the same time, the black pill bug is still active, and there are still four kill spots to fill. And white mobility is not particularly better than black one. Actually, black is ahead now. Uh, of course, now it's white turn, so white will pin the black hand. But as we will see, this pin is actually uh, not going to last for long. Uh, it seems like a true pin, but you'll see soon um, that black will manage to free the queen. The, um, the black hand. Um, black goes with this. Um, white goes for a pin replacement. Although this spider could have been pinned straight away, but this spider, for example, um, black decides to use the the pocket straight away. And after the pin replacement, um, black um, placed the um, like pins the second ant. Now, um, 
Now white, I think, missed a chance to uh, to increase the mobility by playing uh, the last and finally. Um, the idea is that, of course, if black um, shift the pin to pin this white hand, uh, then, of course, the white hand number one is free to go. Why, why uh, I said I missed the chance? Um, White missed the chance because what actually played in the game was to pin the black ant. But this was not uh, necessary at the moment, so it was not um, urgent. Um, and black uh, took advantage of this by going down with a mosquito. You might have forgotten that this mosquito was on top of the hive, but that doesn't mean it can't go down, right? So now um, we are pretty sure that white beetle as black we're pretty sure that white beetle is not going to go anywhere so what we need is more mobility we need an, uh, an ant down okay uh, so if white had played initially uh, the ant instead of pinning this black ant um, then um, this maneuver for black wouldn't have worked because white can pin the mosquito straight away right um, and uh, as you can see, the white spider is still in a good position to pin the black hand, so there was no hurry, hurry to do that. So um, instead, as we said, the spider pinned the black hand, and black enjoyed an extra hand. So now it's problematic for white when white doesn't have a pocket, doesn't know where to place um, the last hand. It will be pinned anyway. Um, probably what. Uh, should have done is to free this mosquito at some point, uh, some point soon. What? It, but uh, I didn't do that. Um, it, probably the idea was to um, move this hopper here next to the pill bag on the right and free the mosquito in such a way, in a different way. Uh, still keeping the the white pill bag next to the queen, compared to to this maneuver. Um, but we'll see that. Uh, was not as effective as white thought. Black um, moves, the, mm, warps the beetle here using uh, using the pill bug. Uh, with the idea, of course, of covering the white ladybug and eventually the white queen. Um, so you can see that even if mm, black's chances to win might seem slim, simply because um, the white queen uh, is well defended and. Um, is not in danger at the moment. In the long run, um, in the long run, black chances will increase because um, white doesn't have enough mobile pieces to stop black. Of course, the game is still very complicated, um, and um, um, I'm not going to analyze all of it. But there were a few rings, and um, it, it got very complex. But the point is that black is not afraid of losing because there are still four kill spots to take and white has three pieces in reserve and potentially one or two to three uh, already in play. Um, so as, as a black, I would not feel um, in danger. So um, white has to play this now. Uh, the mosquito is ready to recover the black uh, beetle as soon as he goes on top of the hive. Uh, this is what actually happens. I would have probably waited a bit more, uh, but um, okay, why not? Um, you can see that uh, white m m pieces are mostly blocked. Um, it doesn't have any available, it doesn't have many available moves. Um, the, moving the white spider will free the, the black ant, although that wouldn't be a problem because the black ant is still freeing the white ant. So this spider is potentially free. Um, the point is that these three pieces are in this um, pattern that they need to need to be changed. Um, if the spider moves around, then this string is very um, is very unfavorable for white. Um, you can still place another piece in the pocket and free uh, the queen and the pill bug, but it's unclear what the queen and the pill bug are are gonna do. Um, surely, mm, chances to win for black are still very small, so 
um, it's probably going to be a, a, likely to be a draw. But this was the second game of the match. And I think um, after the first game was won by Samax as well, I think Rockstar wanted to push it for a win. So he, uh, we'll see that he kept playing in a quite aggressive way. And he tried to find a good a, a way to win um, in any case. But we'll, we'll see. So, okay, black uh, pins the spider. Fill in the pocket, freeing the queen and the pill bag. As you can see now, the spider has traveled all around, and uh, now the black hand is magically free. This is something that was very hard to um, to predict ten moves ago, but I think it was facilitated by um, the maneuver of the white maneuver of the white grasshopper uh, here. So the, the shape of the hive changed such a way that was favorable for black and. So now black has has a matter of fact to uh, to um, free ants. Um, let's go um, a bit more quickly forward. The white finally decided to put um, the white the ant down, but it's a bit too late. Um, of course, is an exchange, so in, you will get the black mosquito pinned. Uh, but notice that black still got all three um, hoppers in reserve. Uh, of course, you could say, how can black qualify for the win right now? Doesn't have any beetle available. Uh, if this black beetle move, the white beetle will just recover and the mosquito spin. Sure, it's, this is probably going to be a draw. Um, but um, my point was to show that black doesn't have to be afraid of white attack in that kind of buffer setup um, and um, in this game he eventually ended he eventually won um, if you are patient enough to uh, wait the right moment to counter attack um, you see uh, this move is not achieving anything per se but it's just waiting for white to show his intention White moved uh, the hopper here with the idea of, I guess, creating a pocket again, and then eventually moving the the hopper here. Um, or uh, another idea was probably to maneuver this hopper from here to here to here. The oops, sorry, the idea would be to to reach this spot in order to free the white ant and uh, gain some some ant mobility. Um, it cannot do. It cannot be done straight away uh, by placing a, a hopper here because simply the the ant will pin it. Um, so instead, White decides to go for this long maneuver. That was my idea. At least what I thought when I saw this move. Um, yeah, it goes all over here, but of course Black is still in time to pin the hopper. Um, at the same time, the hopper is also taking, keeping a kill spot in a kill spot, so um, keeps the pressure. Let's say. Now, though, um, Black is able to play a very good move uh, that creates some chaos and uh, some complication that will end up with this win. Although um, it would have been very clear from this move, but. Point is the pill bug is free and the mosquito is in proximity. So what do you do? You just move in next to it. Okay. So now we got a nice ring and this mosquito has pill bug powers on top of ant power. Of course this ant is free, but there's not um, necessarily a good place for this ant to go. Um, it will be in the black ant, sure. But now black mosquito. Mm, warps the spider in and now there's another ring and we got an extra uh, free piece with the hopper here or the ladybug plus this mosquito uh, is still able to move as a spider so we'll potentially be able to reach other places on the outer hive um, white is able to take the kill spot the, the, um, yeah, to fill this kill spot but at the same time 
the black uh, hopper is ready to to go and the ladybug as well um, indeed with this maneuver black has freed two has set free two uh, pieces at the same time okay the hopper and the ant uh, now the ant is free to go and potentially to pin one of these two other ants although it's white turn now white decides to make another ring and block the black ant in here um, this is very complicated and we'll need a careful calculation so uh, we'll, we'll just move on it's just to show that the game became very complicated even though it looked pretty dry from the high the shape of the hive that was quite stretched um, thanks to uh, pill bug and mosquito game it became very complex um, <clears throat> white is still um, still wants to keep some pressure here and clearly black has to be careful um, now white beetle is free as well um, but uh, i think with with um, with the right move black should be okay black moves the, um, the hopper away the ant is free to move now um, white has got a beetle on top of the hive though it's unclear at the moment what to do with it um, White is trying to free the mosquito again, probably to cover the beetle. Um, probably now uh, has missed the opportunity to cover the beetle and settle for a draw, which would have probably been the most um, most fair result. But as we said, probably White wanted to push for a win, and he kept playing a few more moves. But now Black is able to cover the White Queen and uh, put a... Um, play a direct drop with a uh, hopper still in reserve um, and there are still a lot of tricks with rings here you can see it's such a nice ring here um, with the idea of freeing this black ant here uh, at the same time the spider could be uh, warped in, in here to create um, further rings um, um, eventually white mosquito goes back in here with the idea of, of um, covering the, um, the black beetle but now it's probably a bit too late the mosquito gets ant power in this way um, white creates even more complication with another ring um, but uh, this time it seems um, definitely good for, for black Black has got two pieces in reserve. It can. It has a direct drop. This uh, hopper is in the right place to attack. And notice that this spider as well is uh, by chance, but uh, probably by chance. But it's already it's already in a good uh, place to, to attack the queen, right? Right angle of attack. Um, and so um, now there's not really much to do for white. Black will cover, neutralize the pill bug. Um, and another um, another ring so that the white ladybug uh, is free now notice that it wasn't free here because of the bidirectional pin but now it's free again although this won't be enough to save uh, white unfortunately white creates another ring uh, I've lost count of how many rings we've seen so far <laughs> um, but the point is that now black uh, is able to um, use the rings to take the last two kill spot quickly, even though the white ladybug can move out. Yeah, there is not much to do. And uh, yeah, the game was very exciting. And uh, now white has actually managed to almost surround the black queen, but too late. Black is winning. So, um, of course, the buffer opening was not, uh, <laughs> was not, of course, what um, made black win. Um, white had to push a bit more for black to uh, take advantage of that. But this is also a bit the point of that opening. If you are patient enough and you wait for the right moment, then you ha you will have winning chances. But of course, you cannot counterattack straight away and you have to make sure to have defended properly first especially um, by using that pocket and uh, trying to regain a bit of ant mobility slowly 
after the first wave of attack. So I hope, the, hope you like it. Um, I think I, I should do more videos about openings in general, especially the buffer that I like very much. Um, as we've seen, there are some critical variations in the first 10 moves that I think it will be interesting to explore. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Um, there are lots of games now with uh, the second round of the World Championship qualifier on board space. Um, a lot of cool games, so keep an eye on board space and on our calendar. Um, see you next time.